Hi guys, it's Max. It's about half past one here in the morning in London. It's the 8th of the 6th, 2010. This video is going to be looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. I just posted a video uh, looking at the FTSE 100, uh, so please feel free to check that out as well and look at how these two uh, charts or these two um, markets uh, sort of have coincide and possible uh, interpretations of where we will go from here. Now, looking at the Dow Jones, uh, this is the sort of thing that most people will probably have, or most electricians will have. Uh, since Friday, we saw a very sharp decline, which I must admit I wasn't expecting, uh, but the key is just to move on with it and, um, and sort of try and work out exactly where we are from here. Uh, now, at this point in time, I've seen a lot of uh, bearish Elliott Wave counts, and the most popular one is that uh, Friday, the peak on, sorry, uh, not Friday, on Thursday, on June the 3rd, uh, the peak at around uh, 10,315 or so uh, was some sort of wave two, and then we have a uh, five wave decline, which looks to be coming up to completion sometime soon, so we are expecting a bounce. Uh, that this five wave decline is some sort of wave one of a three, uh, of an upcoming wave three, in which case uh, bulls beware as this market is probably going to be ready to go into free fall after certain levels break, if certain levels break to be more, uh, more accurate. Uh, so just looking at this decline so far, it looks like we are looking for a bounce soon. Uh, you can see here on the Dow Jones here since there's a decline over one, there's a two, there's a three, there's a four, and we are uh, into the, the trading day of uh, June the 7th. Uh, into the close we started falling away again and this looks like a wave five. Uh, what are we expecting on June the 8th and possibly June the 9th? Well, some sort of bounce. Uh, whoops, let me just try and find this um, tool. Here we go, some sort of bounce. Um, is expected. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to happen straight away from the open or if we go a little bit lower first before we go up, uh, but we are expecting some sort of bounce, and this bounce will be key, uh, because if this bounce is not very confident, and if this bounce is uh, sort of corrective looking, uh, what this bounce will be in this uh, bearish uh, count is a wave two of some sort. Uh, to take this into consideration, you want to bring up your Fibonacci retracement levels here like this, um, of the decline. Now obviously I'm, I'm using uh, yesterday's low but obviously can go a little bit lower so wherever the bounce uh, starts taking up when you see the bounce start taking off you want to bring out your Fibonacci retracement levels and look for possible uh, levels where this wave 2 would terminate. Uh, after the wave 2 terminates you would expect a uh, deterioration in the market and a sharp fall away. As soon as the low of wave 1 breaks, uh, bulls if, if, if I was in the market, I would want to get out straight away uh, because there's probably going to be a lot more downside to come. Luckily, I didn't actually buy into this market at any point. It looks pretty weak. Uh, this is not impulsive. This The whole thing looks pretty corrective. The question is, did the correction finish on June the 3rd? And the reason I'm asking this question is because there is a possibility of one more leg up. Uh, if you saw my FTSE video, you would have seen that the FTSE actually retraced uh, 61 to the 61.8% level of the decline. Now here is the d decline of the Dow Jones uh, from April the 26th. And if I just bring up the Fibonacci levels, these, this is the count I have at the moment. I know other people have different counts, but this count coincides with the FTSE 100 quite nicely. And you can see here uh, that Thursday's or last Thursday's peak didn't make this level. Now, as a bare minimum, we would expect a wave two to get at least into 61.8% uh, sort of of, of the uh, preceding wave. Now, the fact that we didn't make this level yet suggests one of two things. Either one, this count I have is a one, two, three, four, five, or some sort of one is completely incorrect, uh, or that we have a possible uh, one more run up to touch the 61.8% level before another decline. Let me show you uh, that chart here. Uh, so here is the Dow Jones. This is a possible um, sort of more bullish short-term short chart. And you can see here, since the low on, Mar uh, oh, sorry, on May 25th, an ABC uh, possibly to make a W, an ABC decline possibly to make an X, and another ABC rally possibly to make a Y to complete some sort of uh, A on a bigger scale. Uh, then you can see uh, 
a bracketed wave A, uh, which is shown by this entire mess here, and A, B, C to complete a bracketed B, and then a five wave decline, which would be completing some bracketed C. Uh, now, if this is correct, this bracketed C would complete our bracketed, uh, not bracketed, our wave B, and we would expect as we're expecting a bounce anyway, we'd expect the bounce to be quite strong and actually take us up in five waves uh, somewhere towards uh, this peak at 10,300 before we get the major decline. Uh, now, in sort of uh, in the long run, the thing looks uh, bearish. The question is, is it going to deteriorate anytime soon or do we have still one more leg up to complete some sort of C before the decline? Uh, now you can see that this count could be equally as valid as the bullish count uh, you were looking at on this chart here. Uh, the problem with uh, sorry, the bearish count here. Uh, the problem is I don't actually know how to label this correction as complete at the moment. I haven't seen a uh, sort of a valid enough way to label this correction at the moment as being complete. It seems very messy and to me I th still think that we are looking at for some sort of C. I could be proven wrong. Uh, the key is uh, to know when uh, I'll be proven wrong and I'll be proven wrong if we get a bounce and if the bounce breaks down sharply and starts to accelerate. Then I will be uh, more confident uh, that we are looking at the bearish alternative. Um, Really, at the moment, as I said with the FTSE 100 video, I am not 100% sure uh, that this market has started to move lower. Um, well, obviously, it started to move lower. What I'm saying is I'm not 100% sure whether uh, this is impulsive movement uh, or a sort of a continuation of the movement lower or whether this is still part of the sideways general correction. Uh, so I am advocating caution as I say in my FTSE 100 video. I'm not bullish. I'm not trying to be bearish uh, yet. Uh, I am being cautious, hence why I'm not in this market yet and hence why I'm not short the FTSE 100 yet. Uh, please do feel free to check out my FTSE 100 video. This was uploaded again today uh, about 15 minutes prior to, to this video. Uh, so please feel free to check that one out to see what's happening with the European markets uh, in conjunction to what's happening uh, on the Dow Jones and the other uh, American markets to get a sort of better better picture of the general kind of expectation for what Western markets are looking to do. Uh, I personally still think uh, that we are looking for some sort of uh, rally for a wave C before the decline, uh, but only the market uh, will um, sort of determine that in the next few days. And of course, if I see uh, a weak, feeble correction and then a deterioration, I will know that we are looking to head lower and I'll probably be looking to enter short sometime soon. Um, guys, I hope that helps. Remember, it's key to, to consider uh, that of this decline, rather sorry, of this decline, uh, here, uh, we have not yet touched the 61.8% Fib retracement level. Uh, so th I think there is some uh, more reason to expect, perhaps, um, if we get one more rally, uh, 10,340, which is this Fib level, uh, could be a key turning point. So, guys, I hope I hope that uh, this video has been interesting and perhaps giving you an alternative look at the markets for now. Uh, it's always important to keep an open mind with Elliott Wave Theory. I know sometimes it can be rather frustrating when you have you know, two or three alternative counts in mind. The key is just knowing when uh, you get uh, a trigger, what I call a trigger, and that is a confirmation of one count or the other. The, the quickest and easiest trigger for us to spot would be, as I said before, a weak and feeble correction and then a sharp uh, a, a break uh, or a serious decline, an accelerating decline, and we will know that we are in serious bearish territory now and uh, to, you know, bulls stay clear. At the moment, we're still not quite there yet. As I say, to conclude, five wave uh, decline seems to be coming up to completion, maybe even look to uh, to make us some sort of double bottom before bounces uh, but we are I am expecting some sort of bounce um, and this bounce will probably likely tell us whether we are ready for more downside or one more high to about 10,340. Still on the cards, uh, only time will tell whether it's, um, it's going to happen or not obviously. 
so I'm going to be watching out for that. Uh, Alright guys, please, any questions, comments and ratings obviously are very welcome. I also invite you to join my Elliotitian network and uh, feel free to subscribe to my newsletter. Uh, both are 100% free uh, and the links will be provided to you in the YouTube description box uh, just under this video. Alright, I hope, uh, hope that was interesting. I hope this helps uh, in some way with your trading. I know there's no obvious conclusion with uh, the video today, uh, but hopefully in the next few days we'll get some clearer signals and, and a clearer picture to come. I think that's it for now and I'll catch you next time.